What up, yo? This is your boy, Big Guns for Hire. And this is what I accomplished in one year of gameplay for Advanced Warfare. We're gonna go through the armory right now. And I was able to unlock the RIP, which is uh, AK-12 RIP, or RIP, uh, which is the Elite variant, one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Also, the Bleeder, um, a very powerful weapon, one of the most powerful ones, but uh, it, sh it just shoots too slow. Um, I think I wasn't able to unlock the Obsidian C Steve from the uh, Ball 27, but I did get the Carbon, which is uh, up in damage. It's, it's, it's decent. Uh, I will lock a bunch of uh, CN6, uh, the third, which is the Elite variant, and um, it was pretty good, man. I used it. Um, it, it put on, it, you know, it, do, it does some damage, but um, also I was able to unlock, let's see as we're looking, the EM1 pow, pow, Powner, or PWner, or Powner, you could say. Um, it was okay, I used that for a couple matches. The accuracy in, accuracy was in, in in every Call of Duty, there's always something that over overtake everything else when it comes to your weapons. If you go back to um, to uh, all the Call of Duties, you know, uh, for example, Ghost. In Ghost, uh, the gun that that the gun that the gun that was more um, that handled the best was the one that most likely will win the battle. Um, you know, uh, the one that you could aim down uh, ADS the fastest or or that had the best uh, shoot from the hip because the people will die so quick. So, you know, the hit detention was on point. So, you know, pretty much it balanced out most of the weapons. So it was all about handling and uh, in that in that game. Uh, on Call of Duty Ghosts, uh, I mean Call of Duty on um, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, it was, uh, I say, it was more of um, the power, the the damage, the damage uh, on your weapon. The, you know, the weapons that will do the best was those that weapons that have higher damage uh, rating on them. Um, in this game, is actually the accuracy. Um, the guns that are the most accurate ones, um, that got the most accurate points, are the ones who actually the best weapons, in my opinion. I don't know how everybody feels about that, and I can give, I can give two fucks about it, about how you think about it. But in my opinion, the guns that do the best are those guns that actually have. Uh, a, a, a bigger accuracy, more accuracy points. This gun is a prime sample of it. This gun is, 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 is although it's very powerful by the stats, it's not really that good. Uh, actually, the, um, the, the, the original version of the EM1 is better than this version, uh, believe it or not. Um, but, um, this this gun right here, the uppercut, very powerful weapon. Um, I, I really enjoy playing with it. I haven't played with this one, um, with this variant. I don't know what what this is. I'm gonna have to try it out. But uh, moving along, the bulldog, uh, the berserker. This is a, a, a prime sample. What I'm telling you, the berserker, very uh, strong weapon by numbers. And on damage, but you know this one um, is not as as as, as uh, accurate, so you you tend to miss a lot with that weapon. Now the whole puncher, which is one of the best weapons in the game, uh, a beast. This, this weapon is actually unbelievable. Uh, the best the best weapon in the game, hands down. 
Now, this version, uh, the damnation, uh, is, 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 if they didn't take the damage down, uh, this weapon would have been the best in the game, hands down. The accuracy on this weapon is amazing. The only reason why this weapon is better than this one is because the RX-160 is a pretty, pretty accurate weapon to begin with. Um, but uh, this weapon right here is it does it does the, it does work it does work. Um, this one is kind of sorry. Um, I think that that fast fire rate um, damage it. If if he had if he have if he didn't had um, taking away damage points, it would have been also would have been deadly a deadly uh, weapon. It, it would have been nice to see if this was was uh, even nine and this one was even nine how would they compete against the whole puncture man it would have been nice if they didn't take away damage points for this these versions of the uh of this gun okay moving right on this this is taking too fucking long um these weapons the handguns i didn't use use them too much so i and I, the same thing with the with the uh sniping rifles I didn't really use them that much. Now, the MK. I unlock. I think I unlock every single version of the MK, even though I didn't use it at all. And and that's that's uh. Let me take this off, man. I already got this weapon twice. And that's and that's a shame because it's like you giving me so many versions of a weapon that I don't really use. Um, but uh, this one right here the clips is the best uh mk14 i have used this one this one is pretty 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 uh evil too right here man this this the eagle eye is this is an evil weapon man but um uh, the clips is just so much beast it does shoot slow but it, it's not that bad um the other ones are pretty uh, uh you know okay you know this one the hard tip if you don't have the clips, the hard tip is not a bad, a bad selection right there. But uh, the IM, IMR, um, the IMR, I fell in love with this weapon, man. Uh, when the game first came out, in, the, the IMR impact was this beast, was beast. I don't know what happened with this gun. It kind of fell off for me, man. Um, I don't know if they nerfed it or what the hell happened, but. This weapon fell off for me. Um, I just started using the I, uh, a, uh, ARX and ARX, and I just stop, you know, stop using the IMR. It was, you know, um, it just, it just fell off for me, man. Um, but when I did use it, that the impact was the best. Um, the uh, this one is pretty accurate. It thunder tusk, but uh, I don't know. Like I say, the uh, by the time I, I unlock this version of the IMR, I'm already kind of fell off from it. Uh, I didn't really care for it. Uh, maybe I, I, I give you guys one more gameplay with it, and you guys can see. But uh, the HBR, the HBR was beast. Uh, the insanity is the best one of all. Um, the, the this one is, is better accuracy uh the sports and it's not that bad but you know that that the, the range man they take away the range and that also it, it hurts it hurts the hbr greatly the average joe with increased damage and increased uh range not that bad man this gun is pretty 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 evil man especially when you could put the grip on it and, and make it more accurate this gun right here can do some some work um it compete closely with the insanity uh, very very closely with the insanity the asm1 uh, uh op a weapon from the Giggo. um magnitude is, is okay the competence uh it's all right the accuracy hurts now the speakeasy is the evil of all of them even though this weapon damage goes down it doesn't really feel like it because of the increased fire rate 
very evil weapon, very nasty. Um, the KF-5. The KF-5 was a weapon that nobody used it until towards the middle, towards middle end of the game cycle. And uh, then you start seeing everybody using it, and especially this version. But actually, the KF-5 that is beastly is this one, the uh, Endless. This KF-5 this KF is, is a beast of a weapon. I mean, it's, it's just incredible. Uh, it, I don't know what it is because they don't really increase the accuracy or the damage on it. But the, the, I guess the increase of range, man. This weapon is really good. Uh, I really enjoy playing with it. The um, I, AMR, uh, AM, a, AMR uh, 9, not many people use this weapon. I've seen some some videos of some, some people trying to use it. Uh, I didn't use it that much myself. I thought it was pretty much garbage. Um, the MP11, another weapon that people started using towards the end of the game. Um, this, the, I got the Devour and I got the Squeaker. The Squeaker is a little bit better because of the fire rate. You put a grip on this, this thing goes ham. Um, for cheesy, it goes ham, bro. Now, the MP, the MPM3, the EMPM3, I never really care for this weapon too much. Um, so I'm not even gonna be concerned with it too much. I did use crossbows, uh, they're all the same, it's about looks. Um, the XMG, I never really use this weapon. Uh, I'm not good shooting with the, uh, with both the trigger uh, buttons, so I didn't care for too much. Uh, maybe I give it a try, I don't know, we'll see. I uh, only, you know, got one, one day left, so what the hell. Now, the Pytech is my favorite weapon, and I have to say, man, the loophole, by far the best weapon in the game. Um, it, it competes very close to the ARX, very close. But um, uh, some people like the me 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 methodic, me methodic, or me me the method, whatever. Um, this one is pretty evil. Uh, because of the increased range so but uh the other ones are pretty garbage but the loophole by far the best weapon in the game right there with the um nk with the arx moving along this is uh shotguns and handguns that i didn't care for so i'm not gonna go in in detail with them the Amelie, Amelie, the Amelie was a weapon that I was very excited when I was able to unlock it. And uh, I used it for many matches. Didn't care for it at the end, man. I, I, I fell in love with the, uh, I fell in love with the uh, high tech and uh, the Amelie fell off the map. But the Spacer, the Spacer is beast, man. The Spacer of the Amelie is unbelievable how strong and powerful this the not the spacer the uh oh shit i just made a mistake ah uh, fuck <laughs> i deleted the a weapon that i didn't want to delete but that's fine they, that's fine the, the game is over with so the, I, I deleted this the, the sub uh, sub prop weapon that um, I didn't want to delete that. Okay, it's okay. I mean the game is over with. But anyway, um, I deleted the weapon that that I was gonna say that it was really good. Um, uh, made a mistake. But anyway, now nah, moving along. Um, crossbow, the AKG, the. Uh, um laser weapons here i didn't care for neither of these the ohm i trying to use the ohm this this one the lichen rope it's so it, it was okay um didn't care too much for the ohm um 
didn't care too much for uh, any of these variants. The M Amon Irons, I didn't care for that too much. This weapon right here, I haven't used it, um, but I've seen it in action. It's pretty good. Now, I got the Lynx Royalty. I'm a, let me delete that because it's, it's twice. Um, this is the Royalty weapons that I have. I used to have the uh, Melee Royalty. I don't have it no more. But um, look at the range on this NK-14, man. I need to use that. But... Um, and also, I got the uh, STG Vampire. Didn't care too much for this one, but I did. I did. I do like this one. This Mobius and the AK uh, Gorilla. Uh, don't care for it. So that's it for the guns. Now I'm gonna show you guys what my record is real quick, cause this video is going too freaking long. And this is my combat record. I got a 1.18 uh, KD, 33,000 kills, a score of 4 million and uh, some points, and I'm going to read all the points. Um, game modes, uh, my favorite weapon, of course, score streaks, of course, and uh, more detail of my prestige and stuff like that. I played this for about 13 days throughout the whole year combined. So that's it, man. Uh, I mean, they ain't gonna get no better than that. Make sure you uh, like and comment on my video what you think about my record, uh, the guns that I unlocked, and uh, overall what you think about the game, man. And uh, to later, yo. Thank you for watching. Peace. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit it now.